They get caught in the act. Hi everyone, how are you guys tonight? I'm opening my paint cans right now so we can get started. Uh, my name is Brandy and I'm the owner and artist behind Brush by Brandy and we paint live every Thursday evening. So it is Thursday. In case you uh, blocked out the rest of the week. You're almost to the end. That's how Sean feels about this week. He was just venting to me. Uh, my husband Sean is here behind the camera to help answer any questions as we go. We're going to start a new project to work on tonight. Um, it's been a busy day. Okay, so my piece that I'm working on is this piece that's behind me. This is actually a really pretty piece of furniture. I picked this one up. It has great details. I cannot wait to accentuate these. So far, I've got YSL primer and light gray on here. Um, so I cleaned it really well. I removed all the hardware and then two coats of my YSL primer. Um, this is the main primer that I use on just about every piece. I love how it goes on. It's stain blocking and a gripping primer in one. And so it's really the only primer that I need um, in my arsenal anymore. Let me show you guys a little bit of our my color scheme that I'm kind of planning on using. So I'm going to paint them on my piece. So I'm thinking here. Okay, so that's one color. This is a Wiseau paint. This color is called uh, Black Cherry. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get a different brush because I want to show you guys all these. I'm thinking here. Okay, so that color is called that's Raspberry Beret. That's oh, kind of dripping. Let me get that. Huh. All right, uh, Cindy, Cindy Meyer Belt, this is for you. Uh, this is Rock Steady. Okay, so maybe a little bit of that, but I like that um, Raspberry Beret is kind of more of the direction that I'm going. Maybe a little of this. That's Begonia. That's just a really fun color. My brush is getting pretty muddy, so let me grab another one. And over here in the... Um, in the purple family, this is a gray, but it's got some purple undertones. I'm not sure if I'll incorporate that, but I did go ahead and get it out. Uh, this is called um, Thunderstruck. And then I've got one more. I think this might be a little too red, but I did grab it. This is um, Red Rock. So those are pretty together, but I think I'm leaning in here somewhere. So what do you guys think? Okay, so that's my color scheme that I'm planning on using. And the transfer, I want to pull out, uh, this, this transfer actually has a larger design that coordinates with it, um, but I wanted to just show you the smaller one on camera. This is called Majestic Blooms, and I want to tie in some of these colors here. So you can kind of see I'm probably looking at these matching a little better. These are a little muted, but I do really like the, the Thunderstruck with the gray undertones in it. So... That's my plan. Now that I've totally made a mess on my piece of furniture, do you guys want to paint? No? All right. Well, we're done then. All right. Everybody have a great weekend. All right. And then I also got out some black because I think I'm going to use that for shading around some of these edges. And so let me open my black. Okay. So let me get a clean brush because I done messed up the one I had. And I'm just going to brush these out. So you guys want to see what, what color this makes when you brush it all together? Oh, sweet. Jeez. So if you're really into some crazy... So the, yeah, let's see what the dominating one Crazy is color mm. mixing. Uh, the pinks took over on that yeah. one. That was just to brush it out so I don't have any drips. All right. I'm going to use uh, Black Cherry. Is definitely going to be one of the colors that I use. And I think I want to keep that around the edge. Now, Black Cherry is an interesting color because it's a very, very deep plum color. Um... But it takes two coats to see this color. Every time I put it on, I see the first coat, and I'm like, <gasps> and then I put the second coat on, and, and, it, and it makes sense again. So on your first coat of black cherry, you're going to have to overlook some fear that you might have in what a, what a plum, a purpley plum it is. Because it is the prettiest color when you get two coats of it on. And then once it's sealed... So I think I'm going to use the black cherry around some of these outer edges, and then I'm going to go for those bright pinks, uh, like the uh, raspberry beret in the center. So this piece, you guys, um, I've had sitting out here prepped for a while, and I've wanted to work on it, and I just haven't had time. So this is just one I think we're going to do on camera together, but the catch is I leave next week for a trip. What? 
actually any lives that I have will be um, will be from our trip. Yeah, sorry, Sean didn't know. It's been a big secret. I didn't want to tell him. I knew he'd be super sad. Oh, I gotta, hold, hold on, everyone. I'm gonna put up the address. We're gonna have a party. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going. All right, this is a little bit of black, but it's on kind of a dirty brush, so I'm getting some of those uh, pink undertones in it. Um, but I'm, I think I'm going to darken these edges right here, and I'm going to blend that black cherry in. This is probably throwing you guys off right now. Don't worry, I'm going to fix that. It's just paint, right? You can always cover it up. All right, so I'm not going to leave this as a solid black. I'm going to blend the black cherry into it, but when I have that black, it's going to just kind of deepen the black cherry a little bit and give me some shades of the same color. Okay, so this is back to my brush from the black cherry and I'm just working that into the black. So it just looks like a darker shade of black cherry now. I think it was Brenda that said those are Cristona's colors. Oh yeah, yeah, the hot pink, the begonia, and the raspberry rice. You would love raspberry rice. Oh good, I got you out of the picture. Now you're gonna go yeah. back in the picture. <laughs> well, nobody wants to see me anyway. You guys don't actually watch so you can see me, right? See what's going on with my hair this week? It's been a long day, guys. I had a bunch of meetings today. School meetings, kids. Just, meetings. just life. Yeah, just life meetings. Like, nothing fun. Well, I don't know what a fun meeting looks like. All right, so this is that raspberry beret. This is that pop of like crazy hot pink. But I'm gonna brush some some purples into this. Oh, of course you're gonna do that. I'm trying to sit here and get the cameras all situated. Now you're gonna go go low. This is not my usual vibe, but like I've been digging raspberry beret. Oh, you know what? You know what trend I, I haven't gotten into? I haven't done the Barbie trend yet, guys. Yes. Who's who's into the Barbie trend? Yeah. I totally am. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you know this about me. I'm super into Barbie. <laughs> <sighs> we haven't seen the movie or anything. Movie? What's that? I don't think we've been to a movie in like five years. <laughs> uh, that's right. But you're not laughing? You don't think that's funny? I don't think that's funny. I just wait for it to hit video or... I can't even say video anymore. I know. What was it you were telling me the other day? Netflix. About, uh, Netflix, who they used to, remember they used to mail out DVDs? <laughs> that was like a big thing, you know? It was like fancy if you had the Netflix mail you the DVD. Okay, I'm really liking the um, Raspberry Beret with that little bit of purple. I'm, I'm putting on a lot of the Raspberry Beret, but I'm going to, I'm going to shade with that purple in a little bit more. So I'm going to shrink this raspberry braid that I'm putting on. It's just gonna be kind of bright and like fun. I just, sorry, every time I hear it, I just think of a print song. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so some of the YSL colors, you can kind of tell what they're fans of. So there's Thunderstruck. One, there's one called Bowie. Raspberry beret. Raspberry beret. Uh, uh, what, you have one out or, with, um, oh, Begonia, obviously. Yeah, black, black. <laughs> yeah, like, woo! All right, when I blend these together, holy smokes, that's the money shot right there. And then when I get a second coat of it blended. What the heck, Paula's now in Temecula? Oh yeah, she, uh, uh, Paula, are you done? She was moving, but she, I mean, it was like, it's just a big, this has been a big adventure, man. If Paula's in Temecula, we gotta celebrate. Yeah, new house, uh, new projects. Yeah? Uh, yeah? Hell, even my old ones haven't been completed yet, so I can't. All right, so this is going to, this will be, this piece will be me taking on the Barbie trend, okay? Um, someone brought up Cristana earlier, so I did. Yes, Cindy. I did. Cindy, this is for you. I got some purple. Oh, no, no, no. Different Cindy. Oh. Um, but the raspberry bray. Okay. I am, um, someone brought up Cristana, these being Cristana's colors. I got Cristana's brushes, you guys. That's kind of why I mentioned it, too. Yeah? Like you guys want to play with them? It's so weird. They're super soft. I'm excited to, to use this guy here. Uh, this is kind of a, it's got a long handle on it. And this one I would, I'll, we'll use this for some blending across the piece. And then I've got one of these guys here. These are synthetic bristle brushes. They're, uh, they look, they look like they might be natural. It's just the coloring of the bristles, but they are synthetic bristle brushes with a wood handle. So this one's called Trust the Process, and this one's called Happy Creating. 
What? Super soft. No way. Sorry, I'm going to interrupt you. No way. No way. <laughs> Eleanor said she uh, she lives a few miles from Paisley Park, and they'd see uh, prints out every once in a while. Wow. What? That's so cool. All right, let's put some purple in here. I'm going to add a little bit of water because my paint has started to kind of set up, and I want to work this purple in. Oh. <gasps> Be right. still my beating heart. So this will be this will be my this will be my ode to Barbie, I guess, guys, since I haven't done it yet. But mine's gonna bring in a little bit of the purple plum. It's gonna get a little bit dark. Oh. Gonna... You know, I was gonna go in close, but now you're. Mine'll be like like a little like a little goth Barbie. I wish I had a goth Barbie. What? I'm sure there is one. There's well, gotta be. What well, is there? Now, like five hundred and two of those. Well, things? now, but now they have all those other, all those other dolls that are like, like you can tell they have an attitude problem. Oh. Like Monster High, or is that what they're called? Can you guys tell? Are you story? really asking me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what what do you have in your collection? Yeah. Okay, I'm super digging this blend. Are right, you guys want to use the big brush? Let's see how this. I think I might want to save this for my second coat. Yeah, I think this is what I'm what I would use on my second coat. Kind of pull all these into each other. Oh, Bratz dolls. Oh yeah, those two. But you know what else this would be good for as I'm making this um, is um, doing sort of a burlap texture, running this through because I got some nice uh, brush strokes in there. You know, I've heard they say it's not the size of your brush, but how you use it. So I'm gonna put some water on here. Kind of. Just throwing that out there. No? Uh, no, that's not true at all. That's a lie. That's what they say <laughs> to people with small brushes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so tired because I was trying to fall asleep on the couch before this. Oh, I understand if you tune out. And then I kicked you off. Yeah, you, you came and woke me up. All right. I'm going to come over here and clean this up a little bit. Because I've been focusing on that area and I, I like the color combination. But now I've got to really get my colors on. I'm going to turn it to the side where I already have a coat on. And that will help to see mm. what the second coat is going to look like. I've this. heard of this. Brush Envy. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a thing. It's a known thing. Maybe they have pills for that. <laughs> probably It's probably easier just to get a new brush. Oh. oh, well, I mean, we are in those days and times. Yeah. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? Uh, no, I was thinking paintbrushes. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do a wood stain top on this. Um, this is really, these are two coat colors, guys. So pinks are notorious. Pinks, reds, a lot of yellows are notorious for needing that extra extra coat and that's what I'm working in right here there's no way I'm gonna get close with these colors on the first coat to where I want to be so this is going to look much much lighter um, than what my finished product would all right so I kind of made a mess up here so I'm gonna clean this up just so I have a nice smooth creamy blended base coat smooth this out because I really want this one to be like, I just want a nice smooth blend on this. So that's one reason I choose this paint. It blends really well. Uh, I do need to make sure when I'm doing a, a blend that I let the paint dry in between coats. All right, that's looking much better over here. Let's fix this a little oh bit. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, I'll, I'll stay over here and uh, let me put the black I on. think you're lying to me. I'm gonna do a little bit of black down here at the bottom. On some of these um, moldings down course, here. Of course you are. <laughs> well, you <laughs> you wind no matter where I go, so I feel like it's a lose lose situation. Look. So I'm using the Wise Out Chalk Synthesis Paint. I guess I should talk on this because I did get a couple messages this week asking, but um, the Chalk Synthesis Paint is what I use when I want to do a multicolored finish. It blends well. It works well with water. I can do these fun multicolor finishes. Uh, work the colors together. And then, I then I'll seal this with a clear coat. 
Uh, Wysel also has their one hour enamel line and that's an all in one style paint, meaning it doesn't require a, a sealer. It is self sealing. Um, but it's not your first choice for doing these blended multicolor. That's going to be your solid single color finishes, huh. your kitchen cabinets, things like that. Oh, Tammy says, uh, I don't know how to take that. A minute ago, my voice sounded like Yogi Bear. <laughs> <laughs> you need to say something that's, that he would say. That's a compliment. Yo, boo boo. <laughs> okay. Let's go get some picking baskets. All right, so now I've got some, some black brushed in, and I'm going to brush in this black cherry into that black. And just let it get nice and dark and smoky, like a smoky dark purple down here. So that's one way. Is I, I'm kind of mixing the colors on my piece and using that black for shading at the same time. Okay, so now I brush them into each other while they were still wet and I've got sort of a fade that goes from that purple into the black. Again, once I get a second coat on here is when these colors are fully going to come together. It's kind of looks like, it's like a rock star. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do the same thing over here that I did down there and I'm gonna pull in this black so on weird. these edges. Way over there, really? I mean, if we had a talented camera person, it would be <laughs> easy to get. This is very true. Yeah, that's what the audience says. I don't know if it's in the budget. They tell me all the time. Yep. Oh, man, yeah. That always kills me when people message me and they're like, uh, your your camera work on here, and I'm like, do you realize this is like a one-man operation? I don't, do you think like a crew is following me around? Like there is just one per like the same person who is painting the furniture is the one who edits the video. That's well, how the like you know, it took me a second to to think of the name yet, just because I really follow them immensely. Uh, Kardashians. Oh. Right. It's not like you're a Kardashian and all the people are following you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was telling I was telling Sean because I had a meeting at my son's school today, and um and we're leaving on some travel, so I've been having to work with the school a lot on getting them out for travel, getting everything set to pull. You know, take we're taking the kids, right? We gotta take them out of school, and he was like. What exactly do you do for a job that you're traveling like this? And I was like, oh man. And the, his re, this was the school counselor. His reaction was, that's a job? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You obviously didn't have a good counselor yeah. in high school, did you? I'm like, I know. I agree. I swear it's legit. Like, I'm ready to report my kids for truancy, <laughs> but I swear we're actually traveling. Making a mockery of this. Like, I know, I, I, I agree. Somebody actually pays you for that? So Why? how do you know when to stop on the first coat? Um, when you start pulling and you, and I have my primer on under here. So if I start pulling the color back off, then I, I, I'm overworking it. So if I'm pulling that color back off, I need to let this paint dry. I need to let it dry overnight so that I can come back and really work that second coat. Because that's where the magic happens. This base coat, I do like to do two coats blended um, in the same colors, and that's because uh, I find that when you layer the colors, you get the most color saturation, right? I'm gonna get the truest pink in the middle, the truest purple, the truest black, when I layer two coats in each spot. So that's why I do two coats blended. Um, but it's not till that second coat that I'm really gonna get the, the, the colors are gonna be correct. So I, I'm just using this to lay out my basic layout Get me some coverage so that on that next coat I can come back. Um, I'm not 100% sure on this because I've got that primer underneath. Whether it might even take, I've got a, a light spot over there, whether it might even be a third coat. And there are some colors, and I might just be working in that range right now. Hey, I, I would agree. I just saw the, uh, the message over there on YouTube. Um, I think it was Mary Brown that mentioned it, but uh, you should have told the counselor to follow you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, feel, I mean, not physically. No, no stalking. Yeah, like a stalker, but yeah. I feel super weird. I mean, because if you don't paint, then you don't you don't understand. Like, look, it look, look, weird. pal. And it's a guy, so he already thinks ladies are crazy for like what? Know, you know, all these like fun things that you get into. He, uh, you know, he said this to me. He said, "Oh, is that like, oh, stamp it up or something like that?" And there used to be uh, a big craze a while back of. Uh, you know, stamping and going to workshops for stuff like that. What? And I was like, well, I mean, yeah, kind of. And he's like, yeah, uh, my mom used to do that. And I was like, I <laughs> hate, 
hate this school counselor. He's so rude. <laughs> my I'm, grandma I'm, I'm, used to do that. I'm done with this meeting, and I, I threw my papers at him, and I walked out. You have no idea yeah. who I am. Yeah, do you know who I am? No, I, I, um, it is a, it is a hard thing to explain and not sound totally like, gosh, you say the word influencer and they think you're like a 16 year old TikToker, right? I don't like that word at all. I'm just getting my drawer sites. Oh, Tina says that she recently painted a parlor table raspberry beret, but it took three coats. Oh, yep. See that, uh, that's what I was saying where I could see that I might be working in a three coat color option. And that's okay because by the time I get to my third coat, it's just going to be really to perfect the colors um, and less for coverage. But I, I can totally see that. So that helps me feel like I wouldn't be crazy for thinking that this might, I might need three to get rid of some of the streakiness that I can see. My, I can see my primer showing through underneath. Right, so I'm going to, I know, hang on, I'll, I'm going to wheel in front of you. Oh, sweet mother... Hey, watch your mouth. Razzle, razzle, razzle. <laughs> All right, so I'm brushing around the edges. I'm brushing that ras or the um, black cherry. Um, black cherry, I can usually get coverage in two coats. So I think it's because I'm working in that raspberry beret, that hot, hot pink. Cindy says, Bruce says hi. Oh, hi, Bruce. He must be punished right now. He's having a watch painting yeah or at least here in the same room <laughs> he's totally blocked me out okay get up here too so i want to get around these edges because then by the time i <laughs> they probably think you twerk for extra money <laughs> like oh <laughs> thank you for I mean, bringing that up yeah. like, responding to that so i could see that and here's, right here's the school counselor that i you know is supposed to like help my child get a job and nothing like being so life. dignified is, like, well, yeah. i'm i'm his mom and i have a youtube channel <laughs> you know it's like oh all right you guys want to see another let's i i've got a side over here that has a coat on it let me turn this a little bit and we can put a second coat on and see what two coats look like it looks like you're gonna probably have to move this way. Oh, I'm of course. Let me move. Hold on. I got this. Don't. Well, no. 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 I don't know if you've seen that I have 372 pieces of furniture on here. Well, again, I think you're overshooting. I have some pieces way. going home this weekend. I have one that went home today. Oh, Sherry wants to know if I am fun to travel with. Of course um, I am. What are the other choices? Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna say this. We're traveling separately. Yes. I mean. <laughs> Um, the circus uh, will be in town. We are traveling separately, and this this is not a dig on Sean. Is um, he needs to finish out the work week, and the event will have already started, so I have to be there sooner, and so he will catch up with me uh, two days later. So Sean has a real job, yeah, and I have to be at the. Nobody event. really cares about me, so it's all you. All right. So this is my black on here. I just touched up that corner. Two coats of the black. Looks gorgeous. Ah, dang it. Thrilled with that. Don't get locked in the laundry room. Ah, dang it. <laughs> we, do have, we will have to do laundry. I will report back that Sean has made it safely and my clothes are clean. Oh, fine. Ah. We are taking only carry-on luggage because I traveled two weeks in Europe last year with no clothes. What? They're friendly. I don't to, think I heard this story. They're friendly to that over there. That's they're, so weird. Uh, very, very open. Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Why would you do I that am, to yourself? I bought clothes at Tesco. What? Yeah, Tesco has nice clothes. It's like getting getting your whole wardrobe at Walgreens. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's um like a dream come true. It's like disposable I wore, clothing. I basically wore two pairs of pants for two weeks. I knew there was a problem. Yeah, because that's what I had. So I didn't even care. All right, so I got my black. Let's go ahead and clean up this purple. Love the purple brushed into the black. It's feeling kind of moody, Halloweeny. Halloweeny? Halloween. Getting some in over here. The second coat is really way easier for me because I can really start seeing what the colors are going to look like. Honestly, I just have to kind of walk away from the first coat a lot of times and just know that, okay, I've got my paint on. Or roll away in this system. Not system. thrilled with it, but, but that's just a first coat. 
Oh, hey, look at that. Maybe your luggage will make it this time. Um, huh. Well, we are uh, we are only taking carry-on bags. The, the whole family. Is I am in. actually going to wear nine outfits all at the same time. Yeah. Uh, what's to that? limit my bag consumption. Right out of friends. Yeah. Sean's going to be sweating profusely, profusely. On, on the airplane, so don't sit by him. It's my new diet plan. <laughs> all right, let's get some of this purple over here. Two coats of the of the black cherry is where it's at. I could get coverage of the two coats. I don't have as, I, I didn't do as much of the um, um, raspberry beret on my first coat on this. So maybe having the black cherry underneath will, will help me get better. Oh, you Yvonne. They lost her carry-on because they ran out of room and they grab it, you know, oh. and they take it at the gate. And it had her dress for her granddaughter's wedding. Oh, no. Okay, so I actually talked to my kids about this because I was like, you know, they still might take our bags away. There's still a chance. So I want you, everyone, pack like an, an extra outfit in your backpack that you're going to carry. And then at least if we have to shop at Tesco, at least we will all have at least one outfit. At least we have history there. Yeah, at least we know what we're doing. <laughs> wearing Tesco clothes for two weeks. Well, some of us. Yeah, I mean, I just got some leggings and, like, big baggy sweatshirts, which is probably what I would choose anyways. Although they weren't the most flattering, it worked. My luck, it'll happen, and then Tesco only has uh, lady wear. <laughs> hey, I mean, it is what it is. I will make it work. Yeah. I will rock that. All right, I am definitely looking at three coats of this uh, raspberry brain. But... It is way more lively on this coat here. All right, so now I'm gonna work it in and I want these to overlap. See, I feel like I've got a really strong stripe right here. I'm gonna add some water to this and I'll at least get a better idea what these colors are gonna look like when I work them together. Okay, I'm gonna keep it wet so that I can move them. This is still my brush for my oh, raspberry beret. Paula does have a point. Uh, leggings would probably look good on me. Oh, yeah, Sean has, well, yeah, you do. Well, we were going to Scotland. Oh, that's true. Uh, we will get you a kilt. You don't, yeah, even, yeah. you don't need anything. Yeah, yeah, for, apparently. For All right, um, and then I'm going to take my brush for my um, black cherry, and I'm just going to brush it over straight through. And can you see how much I'm working this paint, you guys? This is why I let this dry at least overnight. I told you guys I uh, started this piece some time ago, so this paint had probably on this one side that I done had probably dried for like two weeks. <laughs> so it was really dry, but look at how I can work this paint continuously keeping it wet and it doesn't even start to pull the coat underneath. Uh, I've said it before, but I struggle with paints that have a reactivation feature. And sometimes that's a really nice feature if you're layering or um, anything like that, but when you want to blend and you've got to work paint like this, if it reactivates quickly, it, those are really hard paints for me. So those are usually paints that have a lot of clay in them. Uh, you know, has that natural feature of wanting to reactivate. So I love the color combination, but I do have some streakiness in here. You guys are not even going to be able to see it on camera, but I can see in here that I've got some streakiness and I really want that's fully saturated, correct color. So I'm, I will do a third coat, but my third coat will go super fast because I don't need coverage. My colors are all in place. It's just gonna be to really perfect that. I'm gonna brush a little bit more of this black cherry to come down because it's a little too much of the black down here. I want it to still look purple, but just be a really dark shade of purple. And my other option would be instead of brushing these together on the piece is that I could mix them together like in a dish. And, uh, and use that as a third color. I could tint the, the black cherry with a little bit of the black paint. I think I'm gonna dry brush a little bit of the black cherry over the top of that black too. It's like, it's like haunting together. It's haunting is how hot it is in here. It is really hot in here. Oh, you know what? Are you already wearing your clothes for the plane? What? Yeah, it's a little early. It's not for another week. Oh, son of a biscuit. Sorry, I should have told you. Yeah, I, I don't do anything unless you tell me it. Until next week. Right? Good husband. Yeah. 
All right, I really like that black with the black cherry just dry brush. And should anybody that. wonder, they don't exist. Good husbands? Yeah. yeah. that's not true. You do all right. You have your days. Can't win them all, right? All right, so I'm not even digging this into the crevices. Uh, this is the black cherry. I'm just letting it kind of go over top because I actually really like the black in those low points. That is so pretty. Oh, this right here is so pretty. Once I can perfect this on the next coat. Yeah, can you see right here especially? Uh, and, I, and I could probably try to brush over this, but I would just start pulling it back down to the primer. So I'm just gonna let that dry. Three coats is okay. That third coat is so light that it's barely any paint. And I'm super happy with how this side is looking so I can really tell how my colors are gonna feel. I'll put something pretty over the top. All right, you guys, I am going to let this dry. I think when I get back, we'll continue working on this one so you guys will get to see it progress. Um, I also have some more stuff coming up. We're gonna do a project in mint by Michelle paint when I get back. Um, we'll do that on camera together. I got some really pretty colors and some of her papers. Papers lay really nicely, um, so I'm excited to do that. I think we'll do a couple pieces with them because there's a couple papers I really like and I can't decide. So I think we're gonna do more than one. Um, but I will be, I leave next week, next Wednesday. So I will be flying Wednesday through Thursday. So next Thursday, um, I'll actually be in the UK during the time that I would normally be live. So That's if I throw you off by the hour, yeah, it's uh, the time difference will be opposite too. Uh, it's what eight hours difference. Um, so if I am live next week, I will I will post on my page. But if I am live, it will be from the event. I will do some lives, but they might be happening in the middle of the night for US time. Um, so I will share from the event with you guys so you guys can see what it looks like and what's going on. Last year I, I came on and did, you know, little snippets of the different artists going live so you guys can kind of get a taste. Uh, we, we always try to not record the entire thing because then why go to the event, right? You know, why would you bother? So, um, so, but I will share with you guys what it looks like, what's going on, who's there, who I'm hanging out with. Uh, we're going to have breakout groups where we go into a room and we can paint together. Like if somebody wanted to work on this with me or they're struggling with something, we can we can work on it together, um, trying different techniques because there's, I mean, Redesign with Prima is going to be there. Uh, Fusion Mineral Paint, um, Annie Sloan will be there, um, General Finishes. I, I, I mean, we will, uh, Would You Bend, we will have so many products to play with. Polly Onlay will be there. Um, I can't even name them all. Artistic Painting Studios will be there with the textured rollers and her foils. And so, so many things that we can actually play with in the breakout rooms. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So all of you guys that are coming, I'm super excited to see everybody. Um, but if you're not going, I will probably not be live at my regular time. I will just pop on at the event and show you guys lives at, at whenever I am able to. Can you try not to wake me? Oh, you will be still sleeping. Yeah, yeah. I will still Sean, be Sean gets to take that week off because he will not have left yet. And then I will be there for two weeks and I'll share uh, I'll share our travels. We're going to go to Scotland. We are going to go to Ireland, London. Um, so I'll share our travels. Oh, look, Paul is talking crazy. So you're going to teach another class in Temecula before the end of the year, right? Um, I'm going to Australia in a month and a half. So I'm already like, let me, I'm going to sit here and talk for a minute. So, uh. Uh, when I travel, you guys, I have I prepare content in advance. So when I know travel's coming up, I usually will double up my workload in the like two months in advance so that I can make sure I have enough content to keep putting out pieces. So there's going to be no break in my YouTube channel. My Facebook page are going to keep going. New pieces will continue to come out because I have to plan for them so far in advance. And then I also have to plan for my classes. What am I gonna teach when I get there? What materials do I need to have shipped over there? There's a lot of preparation that goes into this stuff, a lot of communication, uh, planning. So, uh, you know, teaching in like in Temecula, I have to think of every material that we might need. How many popsicle sticks? How many straws? How many stir sticks? How many everything? And I go through and make full materials lists, have to order that stuff, have to come up with the projects, have to create the content for while I'm traveling. It's a lot. It's a lot. So like a few times a year, like once a quarter, I would say would be the max. 
max. So this is going to be a big travel season coming up, but we're excited for it. It's going to be amazing. In Australia, I'm doing an event with Mint by Michelle, and so we're going to use some of her things here. <laughs> April's got a point. Tell that to the counselor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you. Excuse me. I need to go. Yeah. I've got to go talk to this cool counselor. I don't um, think he's there. <laughs> Obviously, he didn't have a high school yeah. counselor. If he's still there at six something. Yeah, he's a really cool guy. I really like their school counselor. Um, all right, you guys. So I um, I will have a new video coming out on my YouTube channel. Do you want to know what you guys have been asking me about a ton? You guys want to see the piece with all the frames on it, huh? Does anybody want to see it tonight? No, nobody does. No? No. That's really weird. Yeah. Like, I feel like you didn't even ask them. <laughs> I didn't. It's sitting across from me. I can see it right it's now. It's behind me. It's super pretty. I have the video done. I can describe it. I've We're going to play the game on how well I can describe it. I've to, probably to truly gotten like understand. 15 messages asking me, is it done yet? Is it done yet? Is, it, is there a video? Where is it? Where is it? I'm like, hold, hold your roll. Slow down a minute. You guys got to let me catch up. Okay. You guys want to see it? Move my paint so I don't spill it, and we'll go check it out. So this piece we worked on live together over the course of a few weeks. You guys saw it come together, but it's actually finished. It's so cute. Oh, I have to follow you. Yeah. Well, what don't, the don't heck? This part right here. Oh, it doesn't matter. You gotta see. You gotta see everything. That's the problem. I'm gonna block part of it. <laughs> it looks totally <laughs> natural. What do you guys think? Came out so cute. It is so cute. This video is all put together. I will have this one up on my uh, YouTube channel uh, tomorrow. I'll put this one out here tomorrow. I've got some great pictures of it. It's a super fun little piece. Each little spot has eye candy to look at. Um, I think it's- Is that a picture of me? Oh uh, yeah, right here. Huh? Put your glasses back on. Yep. yep. Which is like you. You said eye candy. I think it's fun because the hardware is like hidden in here. You can't really see the hardware because it kind of blends in with all the frames. So anyway. All right. That's enough. You guys have seen enough. All right. Um, so yeah, I will, I will get this one posted up for you guys and then stick with me because we're going to have some fun travel, fun event. And when I get back, uh, we'll have even more, even more projects to work What? On. That raspberry beret is, oh, it's so pretty. All right, you guys, um, thank you so much for hanging out, and I will catch you guys in a couple weeks, and I don't know, hope you enjoy some, some travel journeys and go along with me, and thanks for sharing everything. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Everyone have a safe weekend.